Quick Measure on screen will help you to do demolition takeoffs from PDF or digital plans. You do your takeoffs directly off the blueprint image displayed on your screen. And this can save you thousands of dollars a year off your printing costs. With Quick Measure on screen, you can take off square footages, linear footages, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen also works directly inside of your own Excel spreadsheets. Okay, we want to give you a, a brief uh, video demonstration uh, about doing demolition takeoff uh, with the uh, Quick Measure on Screen program for working with digital plans and, and PDF files. Um, the Quick Measure on Screen program will work fine by itself, but we do strongly recommend um, that you use the Quick Measure on Screen program along with your own Excel spreadsheets. What you're looking at on the screen right now is a uh, kind of a simplified version of an Excel sheet that you might have put together for yourself to uh, organize and price out uh, a bid for doing some demolition work. So what we have here is a typical layout of a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet. So when you bring up your Excel um, program, you'll notice there is an add-in menu up the top. So we click on that, and what that does is that brings up the um, Quick Measure on screen icons on the left-hand side, the upper left-hand part of the, uh, of the screen here. Once you have the icons here for doing the takeoff items, you have a uh, icon for doing linear footage takeoff, that's good for walls. You also have a square footage takeoff, that's good for floors and ceilings, anything that's measured by the square foot. You also have another way to do linear uh, takeoffs, linear footage takeoffs by sections or segments, which is good when you're picking up linear runs of uh, the same type of wall and you want to add up uh, the total linear footage of a certain kind of wall. And there's also a count item here, that's for counting uh, particular items that, uh, that need to be demoed, like columns or doors or windows or whatever. So the idea is you bring this up, pull up your uh, Excel spreadsheet, go to your Quick Measure button over here, and you go down to Manage On-Screen Images. What that does is that takes you out to uh, anywhere on your computer uh, where you have uh, downloaded the, uh, the PDF files or maybe somebody sent you a CD. So you just go out here and you say Add New Plan. And you look around anywhere on your PC, you might have them on the, you know, the C drive, or the, you might have downloaded them, they might be on the CD. In this case, we had PDFs on all trades. We'll pick a demo plan here. So we say, okay, that's the one particular plan we want to work with. Now, you can work with one sheet at a time, or you can work with 15 or 20 sheets. It just depends on how you want to do, the, uh, do your takeoff. And one thing that's really good is when you do a takeoff with the Quick Measure on-screen program, uh, everything is connected back to your the original Excel spreadsheet that you use. So we have this spreadsheet here, which will contain all our numbers for us, but it also will uh, also have all each and every PDF um, sheet that we use to put together the bid. Everything's all saved together along with this Excel uh, spreadsheet here. So whenever you bring up the Excel spreadsheet in the future, you'd also bring up all the associated PDFs that you use to come up with the numbers uh, for this bid. So what we'll do, let's say we're going to take off some, uh, some six-inch CMU walls. So what we'll do is we'll go up here to our uh, linear footage button up here. You usually would work uh, in, in the quantity column here. Now you can take off one item at a time, or you can take off a range of items at a time. So we'll show you here how we just take off one item, and we'll start with that. So we say, okay, we're going to take this off. It's done by the linear foot. So you position your cursor you know, in the cell where you want the quantity to drop back into. And we'll go up to our linear footage button here. Now what that'll do is that'll bring up the quick measure on screen uh, program itself and it will load in the, uh, the PDF. We just uh, selected one sheet, but like I said, you could select uh, 10, 15 different sheets if you wanted. So we have a drawing here. Now for when you're looking at a plan, this is a digital plan that somebody scanned in a PDF file. You use the uh, scroll wheel on your mouse and that zooms you in if you can see how we're zooming in here. And you can also use the right hand uh, mouse button here if you hold that down, that just brings up a little pan button here. And it's just like using the Adobe Reader program, basically. You kind of, you can zoom way in or you can zoom back out. And then you use the right mouse button, just holding it down that allows you to move around. So if we're going through here, let's just say we want to pick off six inch CMU walls. If you go down here, uh, we say they're marked as number one. So we'll just look for the number ones. Go back up here. You can zoom back out if you want to. And the first thing you always do, uh, let's check we're down here where they have kind of a scale written for us so that they have, uh, looks like, um, looks like eight scale. Uh, so what we can do is kind of just put that in if we need to. And the scale button here in the upper left hand corner, you just click on the scale button here. Now you can calibrate a scale off a known distance on the plans, like if we wanted to calibrate a scale off of here. Or we can just actually just type in that it's an eight scale drawing as well. Uh, in this case, let's just calibrate a drawing here. So what we'll do is, calibrate a scale rather. 
we'll hit the OK button. And in order to do that, what you do is you zoom in on that and you just simply hold the mouse button down on one end of a known dimension line and go across to the other side of the dimension and you let go. And really, that's, uh, that's all you need to do. At that point, um, it is it scaled the drawing for you. And so we're good to go there. So now we can actually go in. We can say done. And it's going to ask us what that distance is. We'll say that's 16 feet. So that's now scaled that drawing. If you look down here in the lower right-hand corner, by the way, it tells you that it's an 8 scale drawing. But I just wanted to show you how I could calibrate. The other way to go in is just to uh, just type in that it's 8 scale. Now, in this case, we were doing 6-inch CMU walls. We're going to use a segment button here. Now, we can also use a highlighter just like we would normally. Uh, let's say we're going to use uh, the linear footage thing. You can actually rename all these different line styles and colors and uh, area hashes here, uh, however you want. We'll just, we just gave it a simple name here of linear footage. You can also change the line thickness and that sort of thing. We'll use a thick line here so it's easy to see what we're doing. So now we'll go back up to our drawing. You notice there's a full sheet view up here, so we can click back up here. Now we're just going to start picking off all the number ones because that's the, from our Excel spreadsheet, that's the particular one we're looking at. So you simply just click on one side of a wall and click on the other. If you notice, the out leaves a mark. So it'll mark up the, the drawing for you as you go along and do a takeoff. So we're just going to pick up all the number ones that we see, you know, in this particular area of the drawing. We'll go through here, and we got another number one here. So you're basically just mouse clicking on either end of the linear footage wall. So we're basically what we're doing, if you notice up here, we're totaling up the linear footage of the six inch walls here. So we're basically just going to work our way through. And you know, if you just give it marked up just like you would have had a highlighter. So you basically just mouse click in one end and mouse, mouse click in the other. That's really all you're doing. And you can pan around, zoom out, however you want to do it, depending on how good your eyesight is. So we look around here for all the number ones and see if we find any more of them. So we just click one end and click the other end, click one end, click the other end. So I think you kind of get the idea of uh, what we're doing here. We're really just doing a linear footage takeoff of these particular types of, of walls. We can also scroll around here, so, so that's good. So let's just say we've done all the all the uh, six inch uh, the six inch CMUs right now. Let's just say we went around and got them all. And what you do then, what's so great about this program is now that we've done that, we can pull back out a little bit. You can see how it's marked up the drawing for us. Once we've done that, we hit the OK Done button up here at the top. And if you notice, what that does is that drops that quantity right back into that cell for us. So we have 87 linear feet that we just took off of that particular type of CMU. Now, if we want to go back in, we can go back in and take off some more. We go back in, uh, highlight a whole uh, list of items in this case. You notice how they go over from your Excel sheet here. Let's say we wanted to do 8-inch CMUs now. So, again, we go over here and we might, uh, we might actually change our, uh, our line, make sure it's nice and a little bit thicker maybe. And then we're going to do the 8-inchers, which are marked off as, uh, if I go back down again to the bottom, he's got them marked off as uh, number 3s. So in this case, we'll go around and grab all the number threes. So we'll just go in here and uh, start popping them off. So we just click one end of the wall, click the other end of the wall, just like we did before. And it's a, really just a simple matter of going through the drawing and picking off all the, all the eight inch walls. So you basically just go through, grab all the linear footage of these. You notice again, it's starting to total up here. It's 102.3 linear feet so far. So you just work your way through. Now you can print out. This will make a nice uh, color printout for you if you have a color printer. And you can even make notes on the sheet, uh, give it to the guys in the field. So basically, we're just going to go around and pick off all these walls. Just like we, were just, just like we did with the, uh, with the six inches to type number one. So you just go through and you get them all. And then again, when you're done, you just hit the OK Done button, and you notice it pops that quantity back into that cell of our spreadsheet. So we did 87 of, of the item number one, and then for the 8-inch CMUs, we did uh, one, uh, almost 148. If you want to do a square footage measurement, again, we can go back in here, and let's say we'll pop the square footage button here. And again, you can do these in different, uh, and we can kind of scroll back out here. You can see how we've marked up the drawing so far. Uh, you can do in different colors and different layers. If I need to turn off the 8 inches, I just flip that there. You notice it's done in layers, so you can turn things off if you need to. But let's say we're going to do uh, some ceiling takeoff here, and again, we'll just use this. The, the red hash is fine for that. 
So we'll click on ceilings on our spreadsheet here. And let's just say we wanted to go through and uh, zoom in and maybe take off this area here just for the ceilings. So basically when you measure a square footage of, of a floor area or, or ceiling area, whatever it is, anything is measured by the square foot, you just click around the perimeter. If I needed to measure, let's say, this whole area right through here, just simply click around the corners. And you can also do, if it was an odd-shaped area as well, um, though it doesn't matter what the shape of the area is, you could, uh, you could go through here, for instance, and kind of go around the corners and, you know, really however it was that you wanted to do to do the takeoff of an item. It can really be, you know, whatever shape you want. In fact, you can even do, if you want, you can even do a circular item, just trace an area like this, and it'll take off that area for you as well. So again, what we did is, you know, if we have uh, 4,672 square feet. So if we hit the Done button now, that flips that quantity back to our spreadsheet. So everything, you know, feeds really nicely into our, our spreadsheet here, and we can then, you know, give a price to everything. You know, uh, spreadsheets work. You can always change whatever the pricing is. This is just typical Excel kind of thing. But what's nice is, we've mentioned before, you can go back in here and you look the little... Um, lookup icon up here and that'll just take you back to that particular drawing and bring up everything that you've done marking up that drawing. You can also make uh, notes anywhere uh, on the sheet if you need to uh, you know leave a note somewhere you can basically go in here and type it in. So just type that in and that'll that'll leave that there marked up for you. you kind of zoom in a little bit here and see what that says. You can also resize this if you want. You do it with a different uh, different size font if you like. Uh, so what you do then, once you're finished, just hit OK, done. It flips you back to your spreadsheet, and then you would hit File, Save. And then, you, as we mentioned before, you would have uh, this Excel spreadsheet saved along with uh, all the PDF sheets that, uh, that you use to do to take off. Now, if you don't want to see a personalized, uh, a more detailed demonstration, feel free to give us a buzz. You can even... Uh, Send, uh, send us over uh, one of your own PDFs and we'll do a takeoff for you online while you watch. So uh, feel free to call us anytime at your convenience. You can call 1-800-731-3038. Thanks a lot for your time today and uh, good luck on those bids.